Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another wondrous, another magnificent propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda, Hirof's Reich, Defender of the Fatherland. And we are off to an exciting one versus one right here on Holotni Ferma. It's going to be a rather brutal, a bloody battle right here for the farm set of Holotni Ferma. We shall be watching Kurs fighting for the Soviet Union, comrades. For the glory of Comrade Stalin and the Soviet peoples taking on the fight for the 30th Guards Rifle Corps with anti infantry tactics, arm and assault, and Soviet Reserve Army, one of my personal favorites. Fresh conscripts have arrived. Versus Cataclaw with elite troops, spearhead and mechanized assault fighting for the 5th SS Panzer Division Viking. And we know here here Grenadiers. Pioneers heading northwards while the Grenadiers are actually heading southwards. She's actually spreading out initially right here for the Fazer Land. Well, I might deem a bit dangerous, but so far let's see how Cruz handles things. Also spreading out, noting no support weapon company or special rifle command up for him. So there'll be an emphasis on conscripts. On the conscript Nikki. Points here being secured by the stout yeoman of the Soviet Army. Points there being secured. Fuel being secured by the Fazerland by the Pioneeren. And while here this sort of displayed as you know lower rank troops generally pioneers were in fact part of it well considered within a division actually to be elite increase. troops. They were generally assault Ready. troops, the Return ones who went into for the, the fortified points or urban warfare, they were the ones leading the way. Generally. And they also had some of the division's heavier weapons if they were part of the Panzer Pioneers, in which case they'd have the Stuka Sufus as some of their artillery, sort of little fun fact there, so hopefully they might have given you a clear idea of the pioneers, but generally they were tough troops. Much tougher than, say, you know, Grenadiers in some cases, and certainly depending on division again. Say Fulcham Jaegers and the Fulcham Pioneera would be even tougher bastards. But so far we've seen the Grenadiers are sort of, well, semi-working tandem. Here we also have a three Grenadier squad. Grenadiers versus conscripts here, taking the munitions point there. We actually seeing a rather wide approach. Surprisingly enough here from uh, Cataclaw, which is not how I myself utilize Jones, but again it can sort of risk you know getting overwhelmed at one point, but so far it actually seems like it's reasonably well working out for them. Gonna he's fighting here, there's some comrades holding up behind a burned out Panzer four. Down here, the Grenadiers continue to fight versus the Karskis. Grenadiers squad here. Grenadiers Looks like you might try and flank down, though. We see the Karskis actually moving in to support that position as well. Grenadiers are getting overwhelmed by Karskis and combat engineers. We do see an MG42 has arrived. The Schwerer's MG540. Grenadiers are actually doing all right, but down to half health. The Karskis, oh, there we go, bleeding up one man. Grenadiers are fighting with the Grenadiers down here, but they're getting surrounded on both sides. And we do see the Kurs is quick to change targets. Quickly dropping two of the Grenadiers, forcing the Rasps of the two to retreat. Being behind only one squad to hold up the southern part of the front here. There we go. We do see why this can be a bit of a bad idea. Oh, it's too much. I mean, in both cases, they saw squads quickly overwhelmed without doing sufficiently large amount of damage to sort of make it work on his opponent. That's a bit of the dangerous also here. That Cruz has already gone pretty heavy on the mines here on the road and on the Vic cutoff point right there. Clearly, perhaps worried about some kind of rush, but also, I mean, from this, there might be something here to predict. He's perhaps expecting Cataclaw to go for a flame for a half take, which tends to sort of be the usual thing and then of course right here to sort of protect against it try and sort of rush down his troops on retreat of course it also just helps protect against the rick move towards here alongside this mine so aggressive mining up already there but he's about to lose a few points troops reinforcing and we're seeing the shaft shoots out it's a german sniper yeah the enemy is attempting to steal our sector and we're noting here sandbags actually being utilized. Well done by Cruz. I mean, it's a bit rare, but again, it basically allows your Soviets troops to actually set up heavy cover wherever they want. And that is something that occasionally gets forgotten. I mean, it can actually give you advantage because I've been mean, considering here, or for that matter, here, there's a lot less heavy cover for the opponents hanging around. So if you're the one with heavy cover, there's no cover really for your opponent to be around. I mean, you're generally going to have an advantage. So that's something to keep in mind, actually. There we go. In this case, they actually caught on the wrong side. Quickly, Yuri, to the other side of the sandbags. There we go, we're just seeing him. In this case, I mean, we're just seeing Cataclaw just marching in in numbers, which, you know, overall, I mean, here, is not going to give much for him because, again, I mean, he simply doesn't have the numbers to hold back two grenadier squads full of hardened German grenadieren and a sniper backing up. Of course, he does, well, he knows that the sniper's actually killed one poor soul. 
And we're seeing here the overall, I mean, he's actually pushing hard. And we're seeing Irregulars out. Not Partisans, but Irregulars. They look the same, but overall, Irregulars have more health. They always have light machine guns, but they can't appear from buildings wherever you want them to. Also, you can actually merge conscripts with Irregulars. You can't with Partisans, I believe. But MD4 to your phone here. Overall, not bad though. Again, they can actually fire the light machine, but so we see here that he's quick to get out since he'd actually lose the MD4 to here behind the old truck here. Pioneers and Sniper Force, where the conscripts up there. We're seeing here that he's pushing into Elu towards the center. Irregulars need to fall back, although they might try and pop off a fragmentation grenade here. And another thing to remember about Irregulars, they possess some powerful grenades, the same that the guards in the future can actually take out a German squad in one go. And we do see, oh, a light machine gun up here for Cataclaus Grenadiers, actually gaining the advantage here. Conscripts were a bit spread out, and apparently that allowed the guns to close in with a light machine gun. Well played there. A light machine gun is always a good choice, I would say, because... OW! We have lost a squad. There we go, the mine proving it's worth an absolutely blowing up one of them. Oh, the sniper! Oh! Skirting danger right there. But that definitely has to hurt. Also, more trap. Another mine went off here. Cruz really has been thorough with the mines already here doing heavy damage to Cataclaws. Devastating, absolutely Ready. devastating already, I would say. And now we're seeing him moving on to the tank beat battalion command. My god, Cruz is on a roll here. We're seeing missing something that's all being handed out here, part of the reserve army doctrine. So you can basically get light machine guns for a reasonable cheap price to support you with heavy grenades and also get some machine guns afterwards pretty quickly as well. In many regards, again, it's a doctrine that actually has a lot of power to it, I would personally say. MG40 here being pushed away. Overwhelming Soviet firepower basically forcing away. Mine went off there, not wiping out. Sniper forced to fall back. And these bring in to provide support. Troops being forcing. With the there we go. Like to make a nice company up to support. Don't need to run carrying fire. Sniper might be doing a bit as well, but needs to fall back soon. Rifle grenade off. Doing a bit of damage there. Grenade going off with the Grenadiers. Force retreat. No! Oh, they got the sniper! The regulars got the sniper! But then they come under fire from their own mortar and the Gunners just barely make it out of there. But really, some heavy losses that Cataclot is suffering here initially. Absolutely devastating loss. The sniper lost the Gunners squad so quickly. The enemy is taking our territory. Very nasty work here, though, of course, with the lap machine gun. I mean, Cataclot has a chance sort of keeping up with those losses and actually inflicting them back onto his. Bolshevik foe, and looks like what we're seeing here, the crew is sending up his conscripts, though they are heavily depleted, they can't really let down much more, I mean, one sneeze from the Germans and that's about it, but, oh, he's actually merging with the Irregulars, giving them a bit more firepower than perhaps pulling back the conscripts for a full reinforcement. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea, no medics up there, though. Conscript force heading northwards, half tank marine support here down south, Flampanzer Wagen on the way, MP4 choosing up here, Irregulars caught up in the open. Bad position, we do see Cruz's quick retreat, and we see here the conscript added to reinforce them is quickly down alongside some poor fellow in a tweed jacket. But Cruz was on much, and there we go again, aggressive mining straight in Cataclaw's face here. Mortifying here, conscript down south, but in this case he might get spotted. Hunts out Mechano now, Cataclaw worried about enemy armies already getting, of course in this case it actually proves to be the right judgment, he's probably been under such heavy pressure, of course, and knowing that he's got the field for a long time, so some of the armor rush is possible, and he's in fact see that Cruz has summoned up a T-70 light tank to provide support. And before two firing fire support, starting out on Conscript squad, half taking the north here into the Conscripts, burning them away. Also, probably because he hasn't really seen any, you know, Molotovs. Or anti tank engine, anything like that. He also knows there's probably going to be an emphasis on armor rushes. So, again, that's also another indicator to sort of keep in mind. Panzer Pass that goes off. That should give the Panzer the Canona a chance of blowing up the T 70 light tank. Then he's here fighting. Close to the mortar. Might be they try to get that way. Oh! Pioneer Squad there to hit. And we're seeing a mine speed up. Cruz. Oh, Calico, I mean. Taking no chances for Cruz anymore. And much can get a combat engineer squad in return. No, too occupied there with the mortar. Can he get the pants? The T-70 light tank. One more shot. Fire, Helmut, fire. By God, fire. Ah, there we go. T-70 cooked up like a little teapot on fire. 
come to Popo here to Kuss, who's definitely got a much more healthy looking force, although he's only taken a bit of a bashing lately, to a certain Not extent. So you need something built. Also noting here, he actually uses conscripts to quickly merge with the combat engineer squad and get those back in the fight as well quickly. Interesting note there, interesting note. <coughs> engineer standing by. So there we go, so a pair of conscripts only found themselves to be combat engineers. Well, you know, just swing the hammer and you'll be alright, Boris. Gun pushing the hardest force they can. There we go, he's finally got the anti tank grenades up. And there we go, goes off, cooking off the engine on the Flam Panzer Wagen, but they're burning up a bit. Largest all going in front of the MD 42, though, a bit unfortunate. And it is here, but they're not looking too good. Fact. Irregular is pulling back here. Taking quite a bit of damage, he might be forced to retreat them, and there we go. Panzer Gunner arriving here for Cataclaw. Counter the Bolshevik hordes. Engineers have secured the sector. Looks like he's managed to call off Cruz from all of his fuel points for the time being. Gunner this got like machine gun going up there. And the also noting here the armor right side rather left. Cruz right at the moment, a bit bereft of fuel. He could have been fuel cast to help with that. There's definitely not going to be any tanks right away. Then it is quick run off. He might be able to pop lose them right there, though he's not careful. Now we've got Kant coming in against the Panzer Grenadiers. Sturm Gewehr's firing in. Grenadiers almost right. MD42 falling back as it gets flanked by a squad and also gets mortared. Panzer is actually moving in here. I think that might be a mistake here by Cataclaw. I mean, don't underestimate two Kant's squad with some machine guns. They can actually do a lot of damage to the Panzer as they move into them. And I think this was actually a bit of a mistake there by Cataclaw. He should just retreat! Ah, Scheiße! Oh, and an errant mortar round takes them out on retreat! That was definitely unfortunate, and his panzer is basically were a waste of 360 manpower, so you don't think they actually managed a single kill. That was just awful. But support armor core going up here. Uh, perhaps a move to armor might provide salvation for Cataclaw's beleaguered troops who are suffering catastrophic losses at the moment. I mean, he's constantly losing squads of one kind or the other, in particular the more expensive Sniper and Panzer Grenadier units. Field gun on the way. Kudos perhaps figuring he can't, you know, rely fully on armor at the moment to help deal with enemy armor, and perhaps expecting that Cataclysm would go for armor as well. And in fact, as soon as that is up, he can in fact call in a Panzer IV if he wants to. Or a Flak Panzer, or a Storm It's done. Most of that conscription is available for Kuss at the moment. The regular take up a nice position inside the church, though they might soon. Yeah, there we go. Forced out before the roof caught on fire. And he's advancing. Half tech taking a nice mortar hit there. Veterans one already giving him precision strike to land for something against the MD 42 if he so wanted. In fact, it could be the very thing he wanted to do. Yes, indeed. Good uses there by Cruz, good use. Took half the unit out. Flame for a half second again, but getting caught there by the field gun in the open. In front, oh, right there at the church, and there we go. Field gun gets it. But at the same time, German infantry quick pushes up in the wake of the burning Flam Panzerwagen. Nice hit there from the Panzer Wagen. Oh, the mine! Oh, he almost lost the squad right there! Just heavy losses again on Cataclaw. He's just bleeding out. But there we go, Panzer Kampag. The Espen rushed into perhaps to store a bit order to the German front lines. What do you have? And should be able to get a T-30 76 himself now. Infantry unit coming out of fire there from the machine gun and the main gun. There we go. Boris took a hit. Ah, Friedrich missed. Field gun moving up. Manning to miss the Panzer IV. Quickly taking away territory and setting up mines. More mines. I mean, Cruz is really on the ball with those mines. Outstanding work there. Unless you're the Germans, of course, in which case you're probably none too happy. Panzer IV got off a nice hit, but already down half health. 
Also going to take pods here, but about to hit a mine as well again. Ah! Objective secure. We will defend we it to the it. death. Absolutely thorough work then. We do see a mortar half track has been called in here by Cataclaw to provide some artillery support of the more mechanized kind. Not wanting to provide a static target there for his opponent's mortar. Not a bad idea. In particular with precision strike, I mean, it's going to have less of an effect here versus the mortar half track than a regular mortar. There we go, pins on the machine gun up there, further increasing firepower towards infantry there with three machine guns firing on one target. It actually has a reasonable chance of actually spreading. And oh, nice hit there. Half the unit gone. Area secure, squad. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. The regular is close eventually too, though they might also soon be close to death as that plan Oh, there we go. Blowing up the tracks of the wooden cart and two Russians. The regulars are the way. Hands of four, leaving a bit of an impact there on the jumps. And there we go, he sent you around in, enemy for you taking a hit. Looks like he might try to burn up some Russians here. And there we go, catching the mortar and the field gun through there. Veteran Julian in return here for the enemy mortar. Hands of four here. Firing into the conscripts, nice hits there. Gunning them down, getting another kill there with the machine gun. Yes, And quick repair as well. Wunderbar. Orders. Your orders, comrade. Troops quick to reinforce here, one would hope. Though, of course, he might try and get some tanks now. I mean, he's got the resources for it. And we're seeing here another Mitra Schützenpanzerwagen now to provide support for the German frontline Truppen. Which could definitely do with it. Since again, they're currently rather overextended in several places. Yes, comrade. Tracking up here, apparently Cruz is a bit worried about another armoured Russian once I have a clear idea of such Waiting things. He's still got the large amount of infantry. We actually think he's moving up for a mechanised armour company. Yeah, interesting. Taking advantage of all the resources he has. Nope. Decides you against it all of a sudden. Right. Instead of opting for some tanks first. Interesting, interesting. Then he's taking up position in the church for a bit of close reconnaissance. Provide a bit of observation for the mortar. Not a bad idea. Truck blown up, thus denying the gun of these any cover, and you can see the assault swift there. Oh, she got a max him up. Quick grenade there. Oh, the troops are actually rather close to each other. We do see half the unit down. With a nice rifle grenade hit. Panzer IV moves up and he's recovered there with a field gun nearby. Awaiting orders. Sneaking up behind the church, but apparently not able to sneak there on Cataclysm. Quick moves up the Panzer IV to intercept with its machine guns and main gun. Need to be a big caliber moving so close. I mean, there we go. Already one down there. Machine gun fire further being shredded. Number two with the empty body firing in there. Panzer Force just breaking up the kills. Close veterans one by now. More to ultimate up there. Perhaps Cruz made a bit of a mistaken mass move. Panzer and his squad arrived again. Conscious quickly suffering also in front of the Panzer Four and the needle machine gun. And what else is there? And the half tech ult finding a bit of light support. MG though did get cleared out. Probably another mortar hit there from Cruz. And a fresh G34 arrives with another one following up here for Cruz. Panzer 4 though has already done quite a bit. They're 18 kills so far. That should definitely give Cataclaw a bit of a breather. You have orders? They're going to need some repairs again. Ultimately, his forces will need some reinforcement. Still, he's holding on reasonably nice. And we're certainly able to sort of dull cruisers. Assault ensuring he couldn't actually move up towards taking on the other territories as well. MD42, though, it has been cleared out. Canadiers, veterans, you see that is good. Ready for combat. And there goes second T-34 arriving. Most likely, Cruz is going to make a larger massed armor assault towards Cataclos Positionen. Crash him beneath Soviet steel. Your orders, comrade. Ready. Awaiting command. Well, it looks like Not one country squad has been lost, but quickly replaced in the name of the motherland. We do see Cataclaw here trying to push in for some harassment, but might soon feel the wrath of the Soviet army. There we go. Attacking ground. Basically, be able to fire through the hedgerows here. The 
apparently now trying to predict where the grenadiers are. Oh, mine went off there, killing only one grenadier. Minor luck, a flash grenadier squad as well. Cataclaw is replacing infantry losses, that's good. Pack 40 sending out the engine car versus the of assault. Mortar half tech trying to hold off the advancing Soviet force there. MG recruit, Panzer Gun is moving out. Cataclaw has slowly rebuilt his forces. And Vent will pop back here to Cataclaw. Ready! Need to be careful here. T 34s hanging around there still. Panzer Force still repairing. And there we go, Assault sending in. Mass assault there, but stopped by Panzer's Grenadiers up north. Forcing the other squads that were not called in it to actually fall back. I wonder what Cruiser's next response will be, but maybe to deal with these Grenadiers trying to take away the victory point now and then. In fact, give him the advantage of victory point fully. Oh, another hit on the MD-42, but the half-check is quick to repair. Panzer Fork effects bereit once more, and there we go, the T-34 setting up the Grenadiers. Shooting up some crates first though. But also taking out most of the Canadiers in a few accurate volleys. And there you go, looks like he's switching towards the north. He's not going to make a direct head charge into Catacol's lines. Also noting 180 munitions. That could be a nice strike there with a fragmentation bomb. In the right place, on the right unit, where Cruz is perhaps not paying attention, like say right here. Or perhaps where's the mortar crew, he feels like, or the field gun. Making a charge, they're going to get that mortar. Seems intent on doing it, right? Field gun moving in, Panzer Fort, or Pack moving in, Panzer Fort moving in. And now we're just seeing an engagement sort of enveloping all over the place here, as Cruz is making moves towards the north, while Cataclaw is moving in towards the centre here. Panzer Group's attacking. Half tank providing a bit of fire support as well. And Pioneers rushing straight into the Regulus there with the light machine guns quickly ending the lives of numerous Pioneers. Be unfortunate there. No sign of the fragmentation bomb being unleashed. Also, only had demo charge up by the fuel point. This is right there by Cruz. Absolutely vicious. Sector. Another Panzer Kampfagrafie on the way to support the other. Which is moving in here on its own to deal with the infantry. They need to be careful with the Irregulars. They do have a lot of possess anti-tank grenade once researched. But so far fighting versus the Maxim and the Combat Engineers. And there we go. Quick anti-tank grenade. Fails to penetrate the front of armor. Pulled back. He does know there's a demo charge there, but even still it is nerve-wracking. That's now the two T-34 setting in. Maxim crew here getting gunned down. Oh, so close. Demo charge. There go T-34 setting in. Both shots penetrate and... Oh, demo charge went off. Almost taking out the Panda Destroyed engine. Panda Bus going off. Panda Ball down. Panda Ball down. This is kaput. Grenadiers getting wiped out as well. Pack 14, then you're getting wiped out. Panzer full rushing in, but can it save the day? Pack crew is dead. T-34 went down to something. Perhaps a mortar round. I'm not sure what. But the Panzer 4 has arrived here. And there we go. Second T-34 is down. That quickly saved the day. Also, another Canadian squad down here as well. Oh, Cataclaw is bleeding out once more. God in Himmel, but time for the mid-game analysis. I mean, the current situation is rather bloody for both sides, though. Cataclaw, it's mostly infantry loss. He's really suffering heavily, and he's losing Canadian squads left and right. And anti-tank and crews are also heading up pretty dead. So there are definitely some... Heavy engagement going on here for both sides, and so far Cataclaw is a bit on the losing side in some regards. But currently, though, he does have a minor advantage, which is the armor advantage. He's got the tanks his opponent does, in particular, get up some light machine guns that should definitely help out a bit as well. 
in the pencil mounted sort of again further firepower versus the infantry but at the same time in cruise simply possesses much more infantry although it rather looks like a bit he might have lost another conscript squad again but overall still he's got three conscript squads no, plenty of veterans he's got the regulars as well so well in that regard I mean he can still apply a lot of pressure he's also got a veterans free mortar which definitely also provides a bit. Of course, he's also got the fuel gun, which is close to veterancy too. Only thing really that Cataclos got going for him is he controls the center of the map, which in certain regards, do force his opponents either go through him right here, which that regard you know, allows him to fortify, or you know have to go around here or here, which in some regards you know can also be dealt with or basically bottleneck him in. So there are some things there. But at the same time, he currently doesn't really have much in, in units to sort of cover up everything. So Cataclos right now needs to basically build up the units he's lost. He needs to also recruit that pack 40. Get basically get some gun ears, recruit that and basically try to push up quickly and so you know perhaps set up some blocking points here and there. Also the Panzer IV is absolutely vital so he certainly needs to get it upgraded but he also needs to be a bit careful with it so he doesn't get it blown up so easily because if he loses that I mean that could easily be game over. I mean currently with the current fuel he has it's going to take ages to be able to get the fuel tech to replace such a loss. So there's definitely some dangers with that situation. I mean, for Cruz again, plenty of infantry. We're seeing plenty of tanks once more arriving. He can quickly replace those armored losses he's suffering, and that's one of those, you know, virtues of the T3476. It is rather quick to replace in that regard. And that's currently what's happening. So once more soon the Panzer IV will find itself overwhelmed, which also necessitates again having that pack 40 back in the fight so he has some more firepower. Also, with the munitions he has, he could consider setting up a telemine here or there, perhaps some mess mines that might provide Cataclaw with a bit of breathing room. And of course, with Cruz, I imagine we'll be seeing more mines going up, though, saving up for this, for example, could help. For the howitzer, currently, the, considering the situation, I don't think a howitzer would do him much good, so I can sort of understand why he might not bother with that. Perhaps another field gun might also work out well, or he could get something else, like a special rifle command, add a sniper and sort of. That way, slowly bleed out Cataclaw as well. I mean, there are some options in that regard as well. But, let us return to the fight. Let us return to the fight. For survival. Morton needs to be careful. He's just bombarding, tracking up. No oh. Apparently, a mortar round and the field gun struck at the same time, blowing it up. Wow. I mean, there's definitely a lot going on here in this match. Definitely a lot and some rather explosive things as well. And Cataclaw is still holding on his resolute, well, will, apparently made of Krupp steel, which is good. You need fire support? Einsatzbereit. And there we go, the first T-34 has arrived to the front line. Our opponents are seizing the sector. Receiving fire! is going to rush yes. in vain to this gun of this veteran to free. With a lap machine gun, that's going to end up bloody. There we go, don't underestimate gun of this with a lap machine gun, veteran to free. The Kant is definitely doing that part, but there we go. To probably and there we go, Panzer 4 already took an engine damage. Field gun moving up, T-34 moving in. Conscripts though are suffering to the might of the Panzer Kampfang team with all the machine guns. But there we go, T-34 arriving, going to engage the Panzer 4. Field gun got off a hit as well. There we go. One shot failed to penetrate the front line on the Panzer 4. Oh! Mortar round took out the conscripts! Enemy forces are securing our territory. And there we go, quick to recruit the pack 40. MG42 on the other hand, lost! That is moving in. Could they get the regulars? They need to quickly stop up though before. No, oh, apparently pulls back. And Pioneers quickly yeah. getting to work on repairing that Panzer Kampf fear. Pioneers ready for anything! T-34 is pulling back. Note, he can use the conscripts though to repair the, the T-34. I mean, that is the thing sector. about Soviet Reserve Army. Your conscripts, once you hit a certain point, can actually repair your tanks and that way speed up the repair process. And we're seeing here that Cataclaw is quickly calling up the stronger shots to provide a bit more firepower versus the armor, a bit cheaper armor. And Panzer checks up. Maximum Conscript moving in here. Versus the Panzer IV, getting shredded by machine guns and the heavy armor. And we're seeing the fuel coming in from another angle. He's trying to get that Panzer IV. He needs to rush in something to assist. 
There you go, Panda Four takes it. Panda got he's got the G34. That's actually pretty rare, but apparently the G34 probably was a bit too close. But still, that's a bit of a surprising outcome in some regards. A bit rarer that that happens, that they get away with so few losses. I suppose it's not impossible. Panda Four almost down, more going down. Field gun blasting when there we go. T34 is down. Machine gun tearing into the conscripts. Actually getting off quite a few kills. Actually close to Vet 22. Panzer gun is arriving. Field gun actually fall to fall back. That's the Panzer Jäger. Panzer gun is in this actually Vet 23. Gun is also moving in. No pioneers left. Oh, it's just such massive losses still going on here for Cataclaw. They're certainly getting those two T-34s definitely helped. What do you need? Field gun being hunted down. Rival grenades flying after it. Oh! And it actually wipes out the field gun. Apparently Cruz has not been repairing it. And the rival grenade basically shattered it. Like it as if it was made from cardboard. Don't get shit's moving up. It could do with the pivot of my machine gun to sort of help a bit, but... Fire, fire there from the storm get shots. And the regulars quickly run off. We have the sector. Almost getting them in the process. The enemy has broken our Fresh conscripts arriving. Standing by. More grenades arriving to replace the ones lost. Panzer 4 pulled all the way back here to the base to repairs. That is good. Conscripts rushing straight into the grenadiers. The advantage, advantage the conscripts have though is they're more health than the grenadiers. And there we go. It does indeed force Cataclaw to pull back his Soldaten. Ready for orders. Our opponents are seizing a sector. You need something? And we go to compounding the conscripts from quite a bit of far away, and again it does have quite some range. But now we'll have to pull back as the conscripts are moving in. Oh, it actually looked like it killed one of his own, but it not. That's something. Panzer Force still a ways off from being repaired. Still could do with a pendulum mounted machine gun to require a bit of extra firepower, but overall, not that much. And we're seeing an MD42 arriving to replace the one lost. There we go. Heinrich got a kill. Conscripts quickly run off. A few losses there from the Mimer. Looks with half the gun his squad gone. Close to losing it there. And there we go. Panzer Fork effect for that one. We actually seen a mechanized armor company up. Perhaps opting for something a bit more drastic towards dealing the fascist tank to blow. They cannot recover from. A regular swing straight into the gun is. That could be dangerous. There we go. Fragmentation grenade on the gun is. They do pull back, Panda 4 and round the hand up, and you push fighting way. Mortar exposed. And he's not conducting the full retreat here with his veteran three mortar crew, but there we go as the trees get toppled. The mortar crew loses all nerve and back to Cruz. There's two goals are moving in, so quite a bit of support here. Finding a way, almost hitting, but not quite. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. And S-25 is the most likely choice here for Captain Kuss. They've opened up on us! Panzer 4 raking in a few more kills for the Fatherland. Mortar crew, you have orders. irregular light machine gun squad, field gun, you need everything moving up there. There you go, the H-35 is on the way. Crew still holding service. the majority of the infantry advantage, but Cataclaus hanging on, partly good some good usage of his panzers and Stormgeschutz. MD-42 up, and there you go. 
Medic Plan Crap Gun, is getting enforced, and again, Veteran 3 Gun is going to be on my screen. And another Mortar Half Track up. Clearly, wants a bit of light artillery to sort of keep him supported all the way. The regular thinking they can avoid that, the MG42, but sadly they cannot. Gun is engaged by Conscripts. We have a new SU 85 to deploy. There go, SU 85 tanks are arriving. Conscripts taking a beating. We are bleeding, Rather low on health tracks, beating with these clinics in with some machine guns, though. And there we go, a squad loss there for Chris. MD42 that went down again to another precision strike. SU 85 support by Field Gun moving in here. And anti tank grenades failed in both cases to penetrate the front armor of the Panzer. And there we go, Veteran 2. And a quick blitzkrieg away. He could try and outmaneuver the issue from the game with a few gun here by that might prove dangerous. Stu though needs to get away, taking heavy damage there. But blocked up there. Oh by the half track. Trying to get the MG42 before the so it starts. And oh Stu was lost. Tragically so, tragically so. Kaput! And before here fighting, can't get moving in. Closing in slowly. Panzer IV getting off some nice kills there. Almost down, but quickly gets around the corner where he can no longer see them deal with it. And what is this? What is this? As you find they're taking several hits from the Panzer Specs, need to be careful here. Toos might have gone a bit too... Oh dear. And on top of this we're seeing Focus Sight. He thought he'd driven into the base. Instead he'd actually circled around here. Clever play by Cataclock. Clever play. Instead of being the hunter, he ends up being the hunted here. And the Panda 4 gets it. Well played there by Cataclock. Now the Panda 4 has the upper hand. There's only a field gun to restop it now. Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. Field gun though gets off a nice hit. He needs to be a bit careful now. Cataclysm Panzer of all can't really take another hit like that. There we go. Machine gunning the field gun crew rather viciously. Close it. Oh, there we go. And that field gun, just one more hit, one more hit, and it's gone. Looks like he decides against the set object with the Soviet infantry. Then again, a single hit from a mortar round or a panther trick could deal with it. And we go recruiting. Panzer IV is forced to fall back here with 29 kills, though. Enemy is trying to repair here. Panzer is caught by Maxim from the church. Well, the remainders of the church. Nice hit there on the machine gun, ensuring he did not. She so used it with the Soviet army. Incoming. Good job there. Good job there. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. You have orders. Certainly a lot of tense fighting still going on. Cataclysm still has barely any units. We are taking losses. Ready. On the other hand, he does possess some means still left. In particular, out. the veteran C3 Grenadiers. Our are but also the Nav Vetchy 2 Panzer 4 is pretty quite helpful. We're seeing additional pioneers to speed up the pairs. Good, and another Grenadier squad. Good as well. Another Do A5 is on the way. Close hitting himself there. Your and good job. I mean, generally, I mean, when you have a Vetchy 2 Panzer 4, you want, you know, to keep it well maintained and ready for fight any time. This really is an important asset in many regards. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. So there we go. Quickly getting back to the fight there. 
Soldiers ready. Squad. Soldiers ready. Beginning to sort of run out of veteran units slowly. Conscripts here. Cataclor could consider upgrading some additional grenadiers with light machine guns. And just as they vault over the fence, they this find themselves trapped there by conscripts with light the machine guns. Panzer is arming into by support. Kind of bombing. Oh, attacking some conscripts here. First of extending some rather depleted conscripts. That gives you the advantage here to Cataclor. And there we go. Veteran 3. Conscripts got wiped out. Irregulars moving in. We await your command. A bit close to the mine there. A Panzer threat that flies a bit off the target. Could cook it off. And there you go, right grenade. Oh, mine went off. And the Irregulars are dead. Same time here, Panda 4 finding versus masses of Soviet infantry. Anti tank when it hits the rear, field gun might also hit soon. SUD 5 is moving in. Kloos smells German blood. And he wants it. Panzer Faust fails to penetrate the frontal armor of the SUD 5. Two gunners immediately find themselves crushed beneath the treads. As Cruz pulls in and Cataclaw tries to get his Panzer IV out of there. And there we go, he's actually laying down smoke cover with a mortar half track. Well played, well played. And he actually pulls it up behind here. Cruz apparently again trying to focus out. He thinks you know, he's pulling into the base, but again he does not. So in this case, Cruz pulls back, not entirely sure what's going on. Where did that flash his go to? That coward! I shall kill him! Once I find you. And there you go, quickly moving in. Panzer passing the rear! Panzer 4 immediately brings through pairs. Quickly, both pioneer scores on the can clock. If possible. Supply sector under attack. There we go. No sign of African description is again quick through helpful. Maintaining some kind of fighting force for Kloos, who's now beginning to sort of bleed out. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Panzer 4 almost gets fixed, but right. T-34 has arrived. Oh, another country squad lost. Oh, mortar object went down, but there's a slight problem. It has a damaged engine and its rear is pointing towards where the Panzer 4 is. And Cataclaw wants vengeance. And medals. He really likes those medals. Not the Either the way, S-35 is in deep trouble right now. There's a Panzer 4 moving in. Its engine is damaged and the S-35 is really exposed. We do see him trying to ram, but he can't because the S-35 is in the way. And basically, Cataclaw is doing his best to keep the S-35 here between him and the T-34. It's showing he can't be rammed. And there we go again. Again. In fact, now the engine gives up. s 5 spins out of control. Panzerfaz goes off the T-34. Well played there, though, by Cataclaw. Well played. Taking advantage of the s 5 there. Well played. And Metrity 3 for the Panzer 4. Increasing mobility and rate of fire. The enemy has destroyed one A of Panzer 4 ace has arrived on the field. And now all of a sudden Cruz is the one with barely any units left. Also second Panzer come by fear has arrived to support the front lines. Enemy force a sector has been cut off. Cruz got a bit of resources. I'm wondering what he's actually saving up for. He might be in a bit of a state of confusion right now. I mean he's all of a sudden taking some heavy losses. As Cataclaw has managed to turn the tables on him. And there you go, Kanzer running on fire there for the veteran seat, Panzer 4. Capture complete. 38 kills. Conscripts quick retreating. Trying to catch him on the retreat there, and there we go, track down them down. But sets off a mine. But sets off a mine. And 
Maxim moving ahead. Panzer IV flanking in, and there we go. Cruz realizing he has lost the fight. Pulls out of this massacre before it completely kills everything he had. I mean, really, you know, brutal fight. I mean, several times, you know, Karaklov fought at a rather distinct advantage, having lost entire squads without them really doing much, and, you know, in the blink of an eye. And quite impressive, he's actually able to keep fighting on and keep fighting so coolly. And f so, I mean, really nicely played there. Also, Cruz, then, you know, also keeping fighting for so long, also keeping up the pressure like that. But at the same time, you know, he made a few mistakes here and then. Part of it, you know, he kind of done more of this doctrine again. You know, I think, you know, a rapid conscription could have provided him with the measure to keep fighting in some case, you know. So, you know, again, I mean, you're going to bleed out a lot of conscripts without many conscripts. Again, you know, having rapid conscription, at least, you know, giving more scores could have provided a bit more helpful. Also, I mean, while the HD fights very nicely, the problem was a bit, you know, he kept using them a bit like tanks, you know, then rushed them in, and then focused out, and then, you know, hey, where's the enemy? And then he'd apparently just completely relax. And apparently ignore the consideration that Cataclaw might be outplaying him. And he did this twice. And first time here, alright, you know, fair enough. But the second time here again, Cataclaw hit it up here and then he just, hmm, well, it's gone. Aha! And then, uh, you know, was apparently a bit surprised when the Panzer of all moved in. Rather unfortunate. Rather unfortunate. In some regards there, but I mean, some really nice play there. I mean, using the house and all things to sort of quickly disengage from the HD5's height from it. And also, more importantly, you know, not just driving into the space, which is what most people would have done, and that was also what Cruz was expecting. But also the trick over here, actually using the HD-5 to basically block the T-34 from ramming him. Absolutely well played there, well played. Good usage of his infantry, good usage of the light machine gun. I mean, that thing really, you know, managed in the end to do a lot of damage, and that's only one of the things that actually kept him in the fight. That was basically that veteran C-3 grenadier squad, as should be. Panzer IV here, I mean, that one was really well used. 39 kills. Absolutely well played as well. I mean, he could have done with some more light machine guns for some of his other grenadiers, though, I think. I mean, that probably would have benefited him quite a bit as well. Just, you know, a small suggestion there. But, all I mean, well played by both. Close again, could have done a bit more. Also, he never used the conscript repair kits either. For Cataclysm, I mean, we overall basically saw the mortar half-track, and that was really it from his doctrine. I mean, he definitely could have perhaps used a bit more abilities to say gun a tiger tank or called in the fragmentation bomb. So, I mean, in that regard, there definitely couldn't have been a bit more from him. But, I mean, really, you know, well played holding on despite all of those losses all the time and, you know, just fighting and fighting and fighting slowly, draining Cruz down as Cruz made mine mistakes here and there and in the longer run, thus overcoming him. So, nicely played there. Hope you enjoyed this spectacular fight here. If you did, why not subscribe, tell your friends, share with everyone. If not, well, you know, send in a replay and provide some feedback in the comments. What have you done better than Cataclaw or Cruz? This is Imperial Dane saying cheers.